Hey, my YouTube friends, let's speak about a case, and I don't want to say missing because this is what makes this case mysterious, just a couple of different things, but one of the things is we do not know if this young lady is missing, considering law enforcement has not confirmed if she's been found yet. Here's what we know. Two men have been arrested and accused of kidnapping missing 33-year-old Cassidy Rainwater after the FBI received an anonymous tip, which was a photo of a woman in a cage. So again, unfortunately, we don't know much more than that as far as if Cassidy is still missing or if she's been found and the the police law enforcement just is not confirming it to the public yet and why they would not honestly i do not know but cassidy she was reported missing on august 25th of 2021 by a relative the relative stated that they had not heard from or seen cassidy in a while on september 1st the dallas county sheriff's office they released the photo of cassidy asking for the public's help in finding her Approximately two weeks later, an anonymous tip came in to the Kansas City FBI. It was a photo of a female being held in a cage. The female was in a partially nude state, according to court records. This female was confirmed to be Cassidy Rainwater. Before FBI obtained that photo, they had already known that 58-year-old James Phelps he was the last person that had had any contact with Cassidy. So James was questioned and James admitted that Cassidy had been staying at his house on Moon Valley Road because she was trying to get back on her feet is what James said. James said he last saw Cassidy on July 25th and that Cassidy left in the middle of the night. James said he saw Cassidy get into a vehicle that had stopped at the end of his driveway. Now, remember the anonymous tip I mentioned earlier in regards to the photo of Cassidy in a cage? Well, law enforcement, they soon learned that this photo was taken on James's property. James showed a deputy around his property and even showed the deputy the loft area where he said that Cassidy stayed. The deputy said that the loft area looked somewhat stripped and that it did not contain any of Cassidy's personal belongings. Law enforcement was able to obtain a search warrant for James's phone and they soon found seven photos of Cassidy locked in a cage at James's house. In these photos, Cassidy was partially nude. A few days after finding the photos, law enforcement learned that there was another person living at James's house, which was 56-year-old Timothy Norton. Timothy is believed to be an accomplice in this case. Per the affidavit, after law enforcement spoke with Timothy, Timothy admitted to physically confining Cassidy by holding her down for a substantial amount of time for the sole purpose of inflicting injury and terrorizing her. Now again, this is what Timothy admitted to. Now there's a lot, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a lot of rumors floating around in the case. I know there's an amateur blogger out there. He focuses on crimes in the southwest Missouri area. And he says that they have that he has sources connected to the police and that the sources confirmed that human remains were found. But again, it has not been confirmed as of now. And there's also rumors about cannibalism in this case, saying that both James and Timothy are involved in cannibalistic activities, but that this has not been released due to concerns of a possible mistrial. And there's also rumors that a couple of officers were terminated due to leaking out information about the case. Now, according to the court documents, what we know as of right now, both James and Timothy have been charged with kidnapping, facilitating a felony, and terrorizing and inflicting injury. But in a strange turn of events, and I'm going to play 
the news clip for you guys. The house where James and Timothy resided that Cassidy was staying at with them, well, it burned to the ground on October the 4th, which was approximately 24 hours from when they appeared in court on October the 5th. A bomb squad from Springfield, Missouri, they were brought in to investigate something that appeared to be a tripwire was reportedly found. So let's listen to the news clip about the house fire. Case of Cassidy Rainwater's disappearance became even more involved when the cabin belonging to one of the men charged with her kidnapping burned to the ground. Thanks for joining us. I'm Heather Lewis. I'm Steve Savard. We're bringing you team coverage of the investigation in Dallas County, which begins on the property covered with what's left of the burned down home. Reporter Ashley Eddy leads our team coverage tonight. This is what remains after the fire from Monday night. The sunlight now showing us what the Dallas County Sheriff's Office tells us is a total loss. Officials say this home of alleged kidnapper James Phelps burned to the ground and a bomb squad was called in. Now let's show you the scene from late Monday night. Officials with the Missouri Department of Public Safety say help from the Division of Fire Safety was requested by the Dallas County Sheriff's Office for a cause and origin investigation. But that's not all. Springfield City officials confirmed the city's bomb squad was called in to investigate after a Dallas County deputy found something that resembled a trip wire. Officials say the bomb squad arrived around 1.30 in the morning and detonated an explosive device near the area of the fire. But what do you guys think about this mysterious house fire where the house where they all were residing at one point, it burns to the ground. So... I'm assuming any evidence in that house, more than likely, they're not going to be able to retrieve it at this point. So again, you know, just very interesting. And another interesting thing that I want to mention when I was researching is that Cassidy's mom, she went missing. Her name is Tracy Wawasuk, I think is how you pronounce that. But she went missing back in 2007, and her remains were found scattered near Lebanon a year later. And from what I've read, I've seen nothing that indicated that any type of arrest have been made. So not that that's connected in Cassidy's case in this case, but it just shows you, you know, uh, there's a lot of mysterious happenings in this case, you know. Her mom went missing and then was later, her remains were found scattered in the Lebanon area. You know, the house where they all resided, Cassidy, along with the two individuals that are, that kidnapped her or are being accused of kidnapping her. It burned to the ground just a day before, or I think it was a day, yeah, a day before they appeared in court. Now, James and Timothy, they both appeared in court on October the um, 5th, and their preliminary hearing is set to be on November, November the 5th. So I'm, I'm just very anxious to hear your thoughts on this case. What do you guys think happened to Cassidy? Do you think she's been found? Is she still missing? It just, I'm flabbergasted that the police is not confirming if her remains or even if she has been found yet. But let me know what you guys think. And as always, thank you all for watching.